Hello everybody, welcome to the second race of the IGP Fan Formula Renault Tournament 2016 Season 2 on iRacing. Today we are racing at uh, Zandvoort, uh, very interesting circuit, especially for the Formula Renault. 30 laps, approximately 45 minutes as usual. Weather is very cold, the drivers uh, have been talking about how difficult the start is going to be. There is uh, very little grip for the first few corners with these uh, tires, so hopefully everything will be all right at uh, race start. Uh, you can find the qualifying information at the link at the bottom, as usual. Uh, you can also read the list of drivers on the left. But uh, Jamie Fluke got pole position win with uh, 1 minute 30.3. Gianni Vecchio alongside him on the fourth row. Uh, Alessandro Longoni and uh, Leandro Schmidt on row two. Sai Andra and Sam Michael, position five and six. Mark Egea and Matthias Weiger, Clark Williams and uh, Luca Varani finishing the top uh, ten. Then there is uh, Josue Leocata. Ione Kajanen, Oscar Martinez Marti, Angel Fernandez Cobo, Linus Areng, Neil de Guzman, Giovanni Sellito, Francois Felipe, Vicente Cuenca, Jason Dunnington finishing the top uh, 20. Let's uh, uh, see if the uh, drivers are uh, starting. Engines driving up. The Fourth corner is already rather tricky, very hard breaking into Tarzan corner, and uh, here they are. Everything seems fine so far, drivers are two or three abreast. No, po no problems, it seems. Oh, I spoke too early. That was uh, Alessandro Longoni, I believe, uh, spinning out of a hairpin and uh, collecting uh, his uh, teammate, Sai. The field uh, is uh, already spread out, much more than usual, that was uh, Varani getting a bad exit and uh, losing a couple of places. Now there is one of the Spanish team slow on the inside, they're going free wide into the chicane, that's not very smart, but actually nothing bad happened. Lap 1 completed, you can see the lap counter on the top left, there are cars side by side, I'm not sure, I, was, I think it was Linus Areng with a yellow car gaining one place, uh, the, that's very close, well done side by side through this uh, difficult corner, again I spoke too early, they did touch and uh, crash, oh well, I should shut up, sorry for the overlay, is covering part of the image, we'll uh, get it uh, sorted for uh, the next broadcast, I would say. We are looking at uh, Matthias Weiger in the black car following Clark Williams.
probably one of the closest battle on the track. Don Brooks and Gianni Sellito into the chicane. Gianni now in position 17, he gained one place. And Luca Varani attacking uh, Angel Fernandez Cobo, Cobo on the outside. That's for position 8. Side by side, hopefully will not turn out bad. Looks fine. A little slide by Angel. Neil de Guzman and uh, Francois Philippe. Neil with a black car. Francois is the green car behind him. At the bottom right uh, you can see the information on the driver uh, um, ahead and behind uh, the driver in the middle of a camera shot. Uh, I apologize, the driver name, the actual driver in the shot is missing. You can see it on the left, highlighted. Please let me know if the uh, overlays are too intrusive. I'll uh, try to sort them out for the next uh, broadcast. Let's go back to Clark and Matthias. Very close, position uh, 5 for Clark. Gianni Vecchio, actually, I, I should be looking at that, sorry uh, I miss it, Jamie is only 0.7 seconds behind Gianni. Jamie was uh, on pole, he lost the lead by before turn 1, really. One thirty-one point four the lap time in the last uh, lap for both uh, Gianni Vecchio and Leandro Schmidt. One thirty-nine point nine seven for uh, Jamie. Clark Williams and Matthias Weiger, Sam Michaels with a yellow car ahead of them. Farther back there is uh, the green car of uh, Joey Miller followed by Samuel Basco, Blasco, sorry. Joey is in position 15 and uh, Gianni Sellito with a yellow car uh, right behind them. Marche Gea, meanwhile, has uh, passed, uh, oh, sorry, where is the camera? It looked like uh, Gianni was uh, having a go at uh, uh, Samuel on the inside, but uh, we'll see what happens. Gianni is still uh, leading the race. 0 0.6 seconds behind him is now Jamie, so he's gained uh, almost a second. Five laps uh, completed, almost five laps. The orange car is uh, lapped. Uh, I'm not sure who he was. Back to Joy Miller, Samuel Blasco and uh, Gianni Salito. 
battle for uh, 15 place. A little wind. In Giovanni missed the apex by quite a bit. Jamie Fluke, meanwhile, is only 0.4 seconds behind Gianni. We'll move the camera to them in a moment. Gianni Vecchio with a uh, white and red car, car. Jamie with, uh, uh, I think it's a uh, Benetton livery, uh, not so sure, I didn't see it properly. Leandro Schmidt in position 3, Sam Michaels is 4th, Matthias Weiger 5th, what happened to Clark? Clark Williams uh, dropped to position 9 he is now 20 seconds behind the leader so clearly some problem for him Oscar Martinez Marti and uh, Josue Leocata hitting him uh, that was possibly some mechanical problem Josue was uh, lapped and it just didn't break for uh, the fourth corner or actually tried to break because we saw the smoke from the tires but couldn't slow the car down meanwhile Jamie and uh, uh, Gianni Vecchio battled for fourth place you can see from the map at the top that the field is uh, really spread out that is uh, not usual in the IGP fan races People do need to get uh, used to the car. I get rid of the track map for a, for a moment. Let's see what happens. Gianni defending the inside. Trying the switch back, Jamie was trying the switch back lap time for uh, these drivers is uh, best lap time 131.0 by Jamie, that's the fastest lap of the race He's probably taking advantage of uh, a little draft. Uh, meanwhile, Sai Andra uh, trying to move back uh, through the field after his uh, spin on uh, lap one. He was collected by uh, Alessandro Longoni, I believe. He is now in position 15, Sai. But uh, let's go back to the leaders and see what's going on the blue car is uh, lapped of course it's actually Ronnie Amighetti again Gianni all the way to the inside leading on to Tarzan corner You can see the gap to position 6, now Varani is already 16 seconds. But actually it was 10 seconds after lap 1 due to some problems through the field. So. Jamie seems faster, he's trying to find the 
place everywhere. Top speed uh, was, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem right, it was uh, 268 kilometers for uh, Jamie Fluke, I don't think that's right even with a draft. Or maybe he is, I don't know, maybe he did use some uh, strange wing settings. Actually, 269 cannot be right, it must be wrong information because the top speed on this track was uh, 240 km per hour. So. This is the view from uh, Jamie Cockpit, Jamie Fluke. We got to Leandro Schmidt in the third place, he is uh, about 1.8 seconds. Mm. The image from uh, Gianni Vecchio, looking, at, uh, looking back at Jamie. if uh, Jamie can take advantage of the uh, toe on the straight to attack, doesn't look like it. Back in the field, Neil de Guzman, uh, position 9, is uh, 0 0.8 seconds ahead of uh, François Philippe, followed closely, closely by Oscar Martinez Martin. Back to the leaders. Another interesting battle is. Uh, Right here, battle between uh, position 4, Matthias Weiger, and uh, position 5, Yone Kajanen. Yone has uh, gained uh, quite a lot of time. He was, uh, uh, I believe, uh, 6 seconds behind Matthias at the end of lap 1. He is now uh, 1 seconds behind him, so... Very well done. Fastest lap uh, was, it's the same for uh, Yone and Matthias, 131.7, but in the last lap, uh, Yone gained almost half a second. Back to the leaders. We'll go back to the battle for uh, fourth between Matthias and uh, Yone later on. Sai Andra, meanwhile, has uh, retired. I'm not sure what happened to him. Jamie seems faster on this part of the track. Not an easy place to overtake, though. Uh, not, the, not at Sandboard in general. Sandboard is not uh, a track where you see a lot of 
passing. I think that was uh, Rania Migetti span uh, on the um, on the left of the track. Eighteen laps to go after these drivers will uh, pass the finish line. We are heading now for the start finish straight. Mark Ejea and Clark Williams very close to each other. Position 7 and 8. Mark is uh, 7 in the green, black and white car. Clark behind him. And Jamie trying the outside on Gianni. Leandro Smith with a uh, grey car behind them. Clark Williams is actually ahead of uh, Mark. Let's see if we can see what happened. Outbreaking on the inside of uh, Tarzan Corner. Clark now in position 7. Another couple of cars close to each other on the straight. It's uh, Linus Areng attacking Gianni Selito for position 12. Ione is uh, 0.4 seconds behind Matthias now. We'll look at them in a second. Linus really aggressive at this part of the track. Aggressive, probably not the right word, but I guess you understand what I mean. Different lines for the two drivers here. And uh, was it Francois Philippe? No. Um, I'm not sure. Somebody had an off track over there. Those are the leaders, but we'll move back to Salito and Areng with Areng being hidden behind the sand dunes. take the chopper away oh well we can all imagine how the pass happened it was on the inside of Tarzan but we kind of lost it Samuel Blasco and Cristobal Gutierrez 0.1 seconds behind them battle for position 13 and 15 Whereas uh, Jamie is now um, a little farther behind uh, Gianni. 31.217, uh, the last lap for uh, Jamie. One full second faster than Leandro, who is uh, dropping back in uh, third place. Uh, 
Jamie trying the outside there. It was a fake, I believe, more than a serious attack. I'm really surprised by the huge uh, gaps that uh, there are in this race. Clearly, some of the drivers or many of the drivers are not at ease with the car yet. Zandvoort is not the easiest track. And meanwhile, we are uh, halfway through the race. It's uh, 15 laps to go when uh, these cars will uh, cross the finish line. Again, the timing or lap information is on the left, but let's see what uh, Jamie is doing. Not a lot, really. Ma Yoni attacking Matthias on the inside with uh, a lap car uh, playing part of the game playing a part in the game. Is it Jason Dunnington? It was Jason Dunnington. Matthias seems to have gained quite a bit. Let's go back to, actually, Alessandro Longoni that just passed... Uh, um, who did he pass? Cristobal Gutierrez for position 14. That's the replay attacking on the inside. Nice and clean pass. Alessandro was uh, third in qualify. So the pace is there, no surprise. Cristobal, by contrast, was uh, 21st. That's one way of looking at it. The other way is that uh, Cristobal has gained 21 places, whereas Alessandro has lost, has lost uh, 11. Another attack by Jamie. That's a view from Jamie's car. Looking at uh, Gianni Vecchio. We are past the halfway mark of the race. I'm not uh, reading you the standings because you can uh, see them on the left. <coughs> side by side racing there for a moment and uh, Jamie actually got through let's try to catch the replay Then he was forced on the inside and then had a moment. So lap uh, 16 out of 30 and we have had uh, finally a lead change. Jamie had tried hard to get by for the old race really. 
Let's see if uh, Johnny has an answer for that. All the way to the left, to the right, sorry, of the track, left of the camera. Can Johnny get ahead? Not quiet. Uh, that was uh, some contact between the two of them. A pity. Johnny dropping po to position three. We'll see if he has uh, damage or not. Maybe yes, because uh, he spun again. And is now fifth behind uh, Yone Kayanen, who is still chasing Matthias Weiger. This is Matthias with a black car. The blue car in the back is uh, Jason Dunnington, he is left. Mark Ejea just uh, passed Clark Williams, that's a spin by Clark. Uh, let's see what happens, I don't want to uh, be mean, but I'm just curious of what was going on. <coughs> Clark just uh, spinning out by himself. Mark actually did uh, well in uh, avoiding him. This is the view, f the view from Mark's car. Position 8, Mark Ejea, Clark William is 7, about one second ahead as you can see at the bottom. That was close. Somebody else we did not uh, have on camera is uh, Brian Strongquist, currently in 18th place with uh, 13 laps to go. He's chasing uh, Joy Miller in the green car, position uh, 18, Brian. And uh, Vince Ball is uh, 20F, very close to Mark Underwood with a blue and white car. Thank you, Mark, for keeping the same livery you had in the, on the SRF. I can recognize you. 134.2 on the last lap by Mark, whereas Vince lapped in 36.9. Mark started 20 seconds, he is 24 now, having a, a look on the inside at the chicane. And what's going on? Why did... Why did Vince go down? That's weird. You should not do that, you should defend. Uh, it was weird and uh, quite an anti-climax. Oh, so maybe I just saw it, I missed it. That was uh, Leandro Schmidt, uh, now in second place, he was uh, going through, lapping the car, so um, Vince uh, probably slowed down to, uh, to let uh, Leandro through and uh, lost a place in doing so. That's I mean, drivers are requested to help the leader through, through, but they should not stop on the track to do so, especially if it costs them a position. Alright, let's go back to the battle for the podium now. The black car is Matthias Weiger, position 3. Jone Kajanen is uh, th uh, fourth with a black uh, light blue and white car and Gianni Vecchio, the former leader is really close to Ione
try, trying the outside, I would be really impressed if you can make it uh, stick here. Ten laps to go. Uh, Twenty laps completed. Almost 20. Let's go through the standings. So Jamie Fluke is now 4.7 seconds ahead of uh, Leandro Schmidt. Position 3 for Matthias Weinger. 15 seconds from uh, the leader. Then uh, Jone Kajanen, Gianni Vecchio. Position 5. We are uh, on camera now. Luca Varani is 6. Marke Gea is 7. About 4 seconds behind Varani. Uh, Clark Williams is uh, in, uh, whoops, sorry, I lost it for a second, is in 8th place, whereas Gianni Vecchio has passed uh, Yone for position 4. And now has lost it again, my position is... Took too much curb on the inside. Oh well, it makes it more interesting for us. And Matthias is uh, happy to see this in his, in his mirrors because he's uh, getting some breathing space. These two cars are obviously slowing down each other. Going back to the standings, position 8 is Clark Williams, Francois Philippe. Position 9, he started 19, so it's an impressive uh, game for him. Oscar Martinez Marti, position 10. Linus Areng, Gianni Selito, position 12. Alessandro Longoni is 13. Followed by Cristobal Gutierrez, Neil de Goodman, Samuel Blasco, Joy Miller, Brian Strongquist, Jason Dannington, Mark Underwood is 20th. And then Vince Ball, Ronnie Miguetti, Don Brooks, Sayandra, uh, retired, Florent Carré, retired, and Rodrigo Ferreira. This is the top uh, 24 drivers. Sam Michaels, Angel Fernandez, Angel Fernandez, Cobo, Josue Leocata, Vincente Cuenca, Oswenka, I'm not sure, and uh, Francesco Bernardo, 31 uh, drivers in the race. We are missing quite a few drivers. This race uh, was held on Easter Sunday. Gianni really close to Yone and making it on the inside this time at the top of the track. Nice and clean pass. We'll see if, uh, if we can see the cars. Where did they go? So we'll see if they can catch... Uh, Matthias Weiger, who is now two seconds ahead of him. Another close battle between uh, Alessandro Longoni and Gianni Selito. I think that Alessandro has just uh, passed Gianni for position 12. Actually, I'm sure of it. Alessandro fastest lap, 131.5, a full second ahead of uh, Gianni. Not a lot going on right now, so let's go back to the other Gianni, Gianni Vecchio and uh, Yone Kayanen. Let's see if we can catch uh, another fight on track. Is uh, the battle for ninth place, Francois Philippe and uh, Oscar Martinez Marti. I keep losing the cars behind the pit uh, building I like these liveries they are uh, 
different colors from the norm. Meanwhile, Gianni Vecchio is only one second, 1.2 seconds behind Matthias Weiger. Let's uh, look at him just uh, to see the, uh, the lap time. 131.4, Matthias uh, running the fastest lap of his race and still not enough to keep uh, Gianni at bay. 130.9 for uh, uh, Gianni. This was uh, uh, Luca Varani for a moment. Let's see if we can get the telemetry going. Unfortunately, we have uh, telemetry information only for uh, this driver. Editor over tier on exit. Now it's heartbreaking into the chicane. Breaking in the middle of the chicane. Uh, not every not every driver does that. I don't think it's the fastest way around the track, but anyway. Top speed is uh, 236 kilometers per hour. also get the apex speed information on, on my timing that was 100.2 km, 100 kilometers per hour at the hairpin I'd like to show you a faster driver but again we have telemetry only for Varani meanwhile Gianni Vecchio he is uh, only 0 0.2 seconds behind Matthias, so let's follow him. Yone Kajanen is 0 0.2 seconds behind Gianni Vecchio, so this is a nice battle. Oh, Crap, I have the wrong camera once again. Nice try by Yone. Couldn't quiet make it stick. It's only five laps to go. A little less than five, actually. I think we'll... Oh, I wanted to stay with these drivers, but uh, Felipe is... Uh, Francois Felipe is under heavy attack by Oscar. Oscar on the inside. Uh, Linus Harek just behind them. Linus is the faster driver of the bunch, looking at his uh, best lap time. We'll move, move back to the battle for 4th uh, place in a moment. 
Ryan Stromquist is also attacking Joy Miller. These two drivers have been together the whole race. Meanwhile, Alessandro Longoni retired, I'm not sure what happened to him. Oh, I missed the action. Let's look at the replay. It seems that Gianni Vecchio did manage to pass uh, Mattias Weiger. On the outside of Tarzan, nice uh, pass. So Matthias, out of the podium, is now in uh, fourth place. It's very close, let's see if he can attack back, but not here, I guess. cars uh, letting the leader through they're coming up to Joy Miller now Brian Strongquist actually lost quite a lot of time nothing could do up ahead is uh, Neil De Guzman position uh, 14 for him lap car is uh, or was playing into Gianni's hand but uh, he actually moved away sorry not into Gianni into Matthias and he was gaining two and a half laps to go only Jamie Fluke comfortably in the lead Leandro Schmidt is second position 3 is uh, Gianni Vecchio Matthias uh, Weiger position 4 and 5 Jonek Kajanen. we have been looking at them for a while Matthias spinning out by himself that was weird so one position lost uh, I wonder if uh, his tires uh, gave up. He was pushing rather hard. Luca Varani is sixth. Mark Egea, position seven. Eight is Clark Williams. Francois Philippe, position nine. Linus Areng, Oscar Martinez Marti, Gianni Selito, Christopher Gutierrez, Neil de Goodmans, Joy Miller, position fifteen. Sixteen is Samuel. Uh, sorry, 16 is Brian Strongquist, Samuel Blasco, Mark Underwood, Vince Ball, and uh, so forth. There are no more close battles except this one with Oscar Martinez Marti. He lost a position from uh, Linus Areng. Areng, Areng, please let me know. Unfortunately, we missed the action. Uh, I hope you could uh, catch the position change in the on the driver list on the left. That's a spin by Linus. 
So Oscar getting is uh, eighth place, tenth place, back. Sorry. One lap to go. Let's follow Jamie, who is trying to crash out of the lead. That was quite a moment. What did he do and why? So it's the last lap. He has uh, nothing to ask to the race. 11 seconds ahead of Leandro. Leandro must have had some problem himself. Just accelerating out of the corner and actually hitting the wall. He's lucky that uh, nothing happened to his car. His cars are uh, pretty sturdy. Well, that must have been a wake up call. Again, this is the final lap of the race. Marque Gea had moved up to 1.7 seconds behind Luca Varani. Uh, he gained almost 3-4 seconds in a matter of 5 laps. But then he moved back out or he moved back again. I'm not sure what was going on between those two drivers, maybe tires problem, maybe just uh, uh, driving uh, without pushing to the end of the race because the gap was uh, too large to be filled. So Jamie Fluke winning the race, well done. Second place for uh, Leandro Schmidt. Gianni Vecchio, third place for him. Followed by Jona Kovalainen, the green card is Joey Miller, he's lapped. Matthias Weiger, position uh, 5. Position 6 is uh, Luca Varani. Marke Gea is 7. He seems happy. Well done, Mark. Position 8 is Clark Williams, Francois Philippe, position 9, and Oscar Martinez Marti um, just behind him. I don't think he can pass, this is the final corner. Linus Areng is uh, 11, Gianni Selito, position 12. Thanks for uh, running the IGP Fian logo. Position 13, Cristobal Gutierrez. Uh, is it? No, now is Brian Strongfist. I'm actually not sure. Did he pass him before the end of the race? No, he did not. So, position 13 for Cristobal Gutierrez. Neil de Guzman, position 14, Brian Strongquist, 15, uh, 16, Joey Miller, Samuel Blasco, 17, Mark Underwood, 18, Vince Ball, Alessandro Dongo Longoni, 20th, uh, actually did not finish the race, uh, neither did Jason Dunnington, Ronnie Amighetti, Don Brooks, Sai Andra, Florian Carré, Rodrigo Ferreira, Sam, Mike Sam Michaels, Angel Fernandez, Cobo, Josue Leo, Ca Josue Leo Cata, sorry, Vicente Suenca, Suenza, Cuenca, please let me know. And uh, Francesco Bernardo. Thank you very much for uh, joining us. I hope you did enjoy the race and the broadcast. If you want to join us on track, we would be very happy to have you. We are racing at uh, Philippe Island next week. Hope to see you there. Thank you and goodbye.